Hey, good morning, Mike. This is a quick demo video for you for your SS or Super Stunt Qui-Gon. This is installed with a Profi. It is a completely removable chassis setup. You had kind of a um, tight time frame because you needed this by May 1st. So I went ahead and I hurried up and I got this done for you. I actually got it in the mail yesterday. It's a one button setup. So it's this red button right here. All right, that's, this does everything. Um, to get to your chassis, you wanna unscrew your pump. All right, we're gonna talk about how to take the chassis out and put it back in also. Uh, this plunger switch is not on a spring loaded system. It's, it's gravity fed. So it's a very low profile thing right here. You can barely see it move, but you'll be able to feel that tactile feel. But when you take your chassis out, you want to make sure that switch is facing the bottom. So that plunger drops. All right. And then you can come over here and you can kind of push through the emitter until your chassis pops out and pulls straight out. It's very important that you do that. All right. Alternatively, you can take the switch off, but and we'll go through that as well. But this is what your chassis looks like outside of the Sabre. So starting from the front, you've got um, a Carl Chen V4 blade connector here. You've got your single switch set up right here. That's your tactile switch, your profi board, um, access to your SD card and your micro USB. So for now, you've got my sound font on here, but there's a copy of the config file that I use on the SD card so you can build from that. All right. Uh, turning it around over here, you have your kill switch. All right. Flipping it back over, you've got your removable battery setup. So this is going to take an 18650 protected cell. I like to use the key power batteries, but a uh, spring side for the negative side of your battery here. And you've got a fully enclosed 22 millimeter smuggles outpost nano elite speaker. All right. So I've got the volume turned on uh, about 1800 for that speaker. It sounds really good. All right. This is a key power battery, but I've got my sticker off because it's my test battery. But you just snap it right in, come over here and flip your switch. So you've got that. It's all booted up. It's ready to go. Um, now, on that gravity plunger, you know, if we're holding it right up here, that plunger is sit all the way down. Uh, that's not how you want to put your chassis in. You'll rub up against this tactile switch and you'll break it. So take this, drop that switch down to the bottom again. You'll notice on the underside of your chassis, you've got this channel. It's because your Covertec wheel screw sticks into your handle just a little bit. You can almost see it right there. Uh, so we wanted some clearance for that. So just line that up properly. This of course is the channel for your main switch. So if you did everything right, that should slide right in. You can take your pommel and screw it on. Now, alternatively, you can just unscrew the red switch before taking your chassis in or out. I find that to be a little bit of a pain. You can do that though. You'll see that your tactile switch is lined up right there. And then when you get it in place, put it in. Uh, personally, I would just remember to make sure that this red switch is facing down anytime you take it out or put it back in. All right, but then once it's all in, you can hit power. For the size of this speaker, I really like how it sounds if you're able to fully enclose it. You've got all your LEDs in here firing up. Blaster bolt. And twist off. All right, we'll go ahead and put a blade in. This is set up for a one inch diameter blade. Also set up for a full length blade. Um, I'm just using my little test blade here because uh, every time I try to use a full length blade, I end up hitting my ceiling. My ceiling is at a slant here. But lock in your blade with your blade retention, hit power. And you're good to go. You're good. Flash on class. Blaster bolt deflex is just tapping. If you want blade lock up, do a double tap and then on the second tap, hold it down. You can almost see it there, but you'll see it really well on a full length blade. Force effects is just a long press. And then it just has one sound font on it for now. Um, if you wanted to change sound fonts, you'd do a long press. 
All right, if you want, <laughs> that's mine. If you want to play the soundtrack, you do a quick double tap. All right, do a quick double tap to turn it off, just like that. All right, so let's break this guy back down. Again, we'll take the blade out. All right, take off our pommel. Make sure that your switch is facing down to disengage that plunger switch. Pull your chassis straight out. We could turn it on from here if we like. And then come over here and kill it by flipping our switch right here. Uh, it kills everything like it should. And when you want to take the battery out, you do it from the positive side, which is over here by your board. You might need a tool or something. Uh, the battery's in there pretty tight, which is by design. All right. And it pops out just like that. So that is uh, basically your Super Stunt Qui-Gon. Let me know if you have any questions and I will get this out in the mail to you today. Thanks, man.